patient power is the only thing that can transform care because we've watched over 20, 30 years and care hasn't transformed. It's improved in places and in other places it hasn't. But when you look outside to other sectors, the power of the user, the citizen, the customer, whatever they might be, transforms sectors and industries. Financial services, even governments. Look at, look at Egypt and the power of the, the citizen voice. So when we actually harness the voice of the patient, the opinion of the public and patients, it will transform everything because suddenly our services will be properly, continuously focused on the patient. The example I gave was that lots of chief executives worry about the financial performance of their trust, frequently worry about it. It's a topic on board meetings. Patient experience, for example, the voice of the patient is often relegated. It's the thing that's done at the end. It should be the most important thing because when you put the power of the patient, when you put the patient voice at the centre of everything you do, everything else comes together. So when an organisation says, we're going to listen to the patient, we're going to deliver a fantastic patient experience, clinical metrics improve, financial metrics improve, staff morale goes up. Uh, we hear a lot of talk about organisations saying we want to have a culture that's focused on the patient, but you're not going to do that unless you measure what's important to the patient. And I say, if organisations measure what's important to the patient, then that gives the patient power because their voice, their opinion, their experience suddenly becomes central to the organisation and to healthcare.